Keith is up here. Keith is up here. Keith is up here. Masterclass week at SSDI is our fourth week here on the campus. It's when we use almost every physical space in the building. We've opened a Music Man, so the show itself is pretty much ready. We are still doing put-in rehearsals because the cast, they do change over the course of the, the week here. So for me at least, um, I started on Sunday after the closing of weekend one. Um, I went home and I looked over all of my lines and blocking and we did the show together just to like prep for Monday because on Monday we had a stumble through with this cast with our director before he left. The schedule for the week is we have a put-in rehearsal on Tuesday, a put-in rehearsal on Thursday, a dress rehearsal on Thursday, and then we open Friday. So we don't have a lot of rehearsal time, but I would say it's like the right amount because you're prepped enough before you go into this weekend um, that it's not easy to jump back into it, but it's doable. So as an associate, our job specifically here is to keep the show alive and do the rehearsals for the cast swap. She uh, helps all, not just us, um, but she helps the ensemble, everyone that's switching from Harold, Mary, and Peru, all of those characters, and all of the switches that they have to do that we did first weekend. And also, like, lighting cues and stuff have been based around the first cast, so we kind of have to, like, follow what they did last mm -hmm. week in order to make sure that we're in our light. And like communication with your double is really important yeah. right now too, because everyone was just so focused on their like other track last week and we were all just like so focused in on yeah. that and now we have to like explain that to our other person. If people come back this weekend that saw it last weekend, it's a whole new music man. Absolutely. And it is so exciting. And I feel like we play the characters completely differently right. than our first weekend counterparts and they play our ensemble tracks completely differently. And I feel like that just adds a new like level to the show. Not only is this our put in rehearsal week, this is also our master class yeah. week. So we're like it's everything on top of We're just another. doing everything right now. Our music theater students are in small groups rotating with college professors. They're working on their acting, their singing, their dancing, their audition cuts as they get ready for eventually their college auditions or either very soon their college auditions if they're our seniors. Tech masterclasses are a variety of masterclasses that are sourced from a giant survey, about 60 options that we send to our tech students. So we are taking our opportunities to go uh, and deep dive into more uh, complex topics. Um, I taught a class yesterday that was <laughs> stage management boot camp, and my assistant stage manager, Kat, and I decided, okay, let's do cue calling and let's do set taping. And so we decided, you know, the students in this class were going to pick a song from the show and then call that based on my script. They were needing performers to hop up on stage to do the music man so the students could practice calling stage management cues. Several of us volunteered, and we did not know that we were being filmed. All those in River City, heed the warning of the Okay, there's troubles in here. Watch yep. the telltale signs of corruption. They're probably gonna miss them. The moment them. your son leaves the house, does he rebuckle his knickerbockers below the knee? Go. Trouble! Yeah! <laughs> you can talk, you can talk, you can bicker, you can talk, you can bicker, 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 you can talk, you can talk. You can... He's a music man. He's a what? He's a what? He's a music man, and he sells clarinets to the kids in the town. <laughs> Everyone had a really fantastic time just laughing about it, but also talking about cue calling and learning to do that. And I think that was a highlight of my day for sure. Tech for Actors is a very exciting day. It is an opportunity for our acting students to come into our technical students' lives for a hot second. So it just gives them a little bit of hands-on, learning a little bit about what we do. It also gives our technicians a chance to teach for what may be the first time, give them an idea of what that feels like, how to uh, explain what they do with passion without talking down, which is a, a big thing um, to make sure that we hit home. They are over the moon about it. Last year was my first year and I was told that it was a big deal. 
Uh, but I didn't know exactly how big of a deal until I saw it. But it's, uh, it's pretty wild. They dive in with such ferocity and tenacity. They can't get over it. They want to know everything about what we do. The technicians get a chance to shine, and I think it's always such a cool thing to see. One of the cool things about um, living in New York is that I get to have a variety of musical theater people in my life, and that often involves the ability to bring some of them down and, and to surprise the kids. So we had the opportunity to bring down Taylor Louderman, who the kids all know from Mean Girls, and she's on NBC's Keenan. Guys, we're so happy to have Taylor here with us tonight. I'm here to coach you, to work with you, and, and uh, to, be, to be a mentor in, in this moment. Um, so at that point, you've heard me talk for three weeks, so I'm just gonna turn it over to the person you're most excited to see. Uh, here's Taylor. <laughs> So we get to bring in a guest artist who gets to not only work with them on their songs, but they talk a lot about life working in theater. It helps put in perspective kind of what it means to be a performer. You know, the students think that these people on Broadway, like, this is it. They're doing eight shows a week. They've, they've made it. And it's sometimes important to have somebody that's at that level come in to let them know that, yeah, you're still got to put in the work. Um, life still goes on, and you still have to be ready to take on the challenges that a performer faces at any level. You know, you can't, you can't show up to this just because of the, the fame and, well, you don't get fortune in this business. <laughs> but that, that attention that we get, right? I'm sure you've heard it a million times, and I did too when I was in your shoes, but I have to say it again because there were times in my life where I leaned into that a little bit too much, right? Like, oh my gosh, I'm going to start the show. <sighs> especially in this setting, because I know I can be nerve-wracking to get up here in front of your peers, in front of somebody who's done what you want to do. Um, but we really lean into those other parts of why we do this. We had the master class with Taylor Latterman, and we all got to sing. That was It's always my favorite part, especially like, because you get to hear everyone sing outside of the show, like outside of the style of the show. As much as I love playing the music man, it's really fun to see what the kids have in their books that they choose to share something about themselves with us. arrived here to our final weekend at SSTI, which is always sad, especially sad when you've got such a good group of kids like this. This group has been really, really extraordinary. They have bound together. They've done an incredible show. They've had a week of classes here just now. And we we're going to finish up with a packed houses for three performances of Music Man. And at the end of our final night together, we have a tradition at SSTI. We get in the van, so we go down to the beach, and we have final circle time. As a family, take a giant deep breath into this fresh air. Let it out. Not everybody, not every group is gonna feel as special as this group has. And that's okay, because this group doesn't go away. This group exists in new forms. On your good days, on your bad days, this circle still exists. And pretty soon our, our seniors, you will be the alums, like those alums we saw back at the show tonight, coming back to see the show, coming back to see your pictures on the wall. So we are filled with gratitude. We take that from this circle into our own circles with lots of love, and we're gonna bring it in on family on three. Bring it in. Why am I going away? We're bringing it in. <laughs> Are we all in? Are we here? With immense pride and gratitude, fill this night air with love, support, friendship, everything you have built this last month on. We're bringing in with our family on three. One, two, three, family! 
final performance arrives and it's a big day. They've brought all their luggage. Everything has been in a U-Haul truck and brought here to the theater so that as soon as the show is over, they pack up and they go their separate ways. My name is Ben Wolf and welcome to the closing afternoon performance of The Music Man, which starts our 15th anniversary season of producing musicals here every summer in the Low Country. Thank you for being here. It's a sad moment and it comes all too quickly and uh, no one is really ever quite ready for it to say goodbye, staff or students alike. But it's the necessary end so that we can all take what we've learned here in our little circle here at SSTI and take it out into our larger circles and out into the world.